You guys talk way too much. Will you just shut up and rap? I decided to name the album Shut Up and Rap because I, I thought it was a good concept. I thought the title was catchy. It was more about bars. It wasn't a lot of gimmicks. It wasn't a lot of concepts behind the records. It was it was just really about shutting up and rapping, just getting there, showing up to the session. You know what I'm saying? Most of the MCs came through the session. They didn't email it. And there was a good raw vibe in there. And the title came about halfway through the recording process. And I was like, yo, this sounds like Shut Up and Rap. So there it is, Shut Up and Rap, the album. I met Term at the DJ premiere Pete Rock show uh, at Middle East. Um, so it was after the show. Uh, I was outside. I was waiting for my buddy Nick. Um, I was in my car. And Kid walked up to me on the corner and handed me a CD. And I usually throw those out the window. But um, I assured him that if it was trash, I was going to throw it out the window, but I was going to listen to it. First thing he said after I gave him the beat CD was, these beats better not suck or I'm throwing your CD in the trash. Um, so he said, nah, trust me, he's high, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what everybody says. But I kept his beats in the, in the whip for like a week, finally I popped them in and I was like, beat after beat was hot. I was like, wow, this is the best beat tape I got in a while. So, you know, I just kept cruising around in the car with it for a while. Eventually we hit each other up. Oh, this is the car? Yeah, this is the Been on the roof. Oh. Term actually tweeted at me at first. He tweeted a, a picture of the beat CD I had given him. And then it said, yo, these beats are fire, or something like that. He hit, hit me with a message right after that, told me he was writing to a few of the beats. You know, we spoke on the phone a few times. At that point, I figured, you know, why don't we just get in the studio and, and get some work done? Um, so I, you know, I uh, got some, booked some studio time at the bridge in Cambridge, that's archetype spot. Um, we got to work, we started making songs right away. I was definitely nervous going to that first session. Um, you know, this is like, uh, you know, this isn't just uh, my, my friends that rap, you know what I mean? This is like, a, <laughs> you know, this is a real rapper, so um, I'm in the hot seat, you know, and it's, it's all right, you know, Billy, play beats, you know, play me some new beats. And like, you know, I got terms sitting there, Easy Money will be sitting there, Slane might be sitting there. <laughs> These are all used shit to like. Gene Slane, chin checking. In the chaos and hues of rules with the sands of blues, he shaded with gray, shaded the brave crayons I used, seminated the wave to ride while it's stayed in the. You never know who, who's gonna be in there. The sessions for Shut Up and Rap was crazy. Every time was different. It's a blade, barber shop, top two. So these streets be mine and they brought me this curse. Hey, get away. In the deck, I got respect in my hood, so I ain't worried. And sometimes they were small. You know, it might just be, you know, me and Term and Lightfoot recording. Other times there would be a lot of people in the studio, everybody drinking, everybody building, different vibes going on. 
rappers coming in and out, you know what I'm saying? You have Michael Christmas walk in, walk out, Chilla Jones walk in, walk out, Slane come in, Dutch Rebel. It was just crazy. It was in and out, you know, it was it was like a Boston community studio. You know, the whole album was recorded in the bean, so it was definitely fun. Um, we got work done. It was a, but it was a pretty relaxed atmosphere. The vibe in the spot was good. It was it's like family shit, you know, archetype is like family, you know what I'm saying? And he's become like family just over the last year or two, just me and him, we, we're there. He's a great engineer. Add, uh, add the, um, I don't give a fuck what they say, what they say, because obviously it's good for him. Look that one there. I want to move that one up. You like that there? Yeah, that's fine. Two for that's MPEG, that's MP3. Three, and then yo, yeah. <laughs> yo, but then here's the thing, here's the thing. And I'm spitting on your grave, and it's getting pissed on. That's good. Cool. I think it's good, it just needs the last word. You need that clean? Like, you know, it's not like Let me do it over, just that one yeah. word. Yeah. Now, working with, uh, with, with Archetype was, um, you know, to put it into just one word, it was professional. Um, you know, he, he's a professional, this is what he does. He's a musician, he's an engineer, a producer, um, very talented at, at all three. I can't make a call because, like, I love how how cool that sounds, but like, but I don't know if it's just because I'm. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm just used to it the other way or not. I'm trying to like figure all right, out. Try the know? first. Try the first thing you did. We did most of the recording with with Lightfoot, uh, David Bello, aka Lightfoot. <laughs> Shout out to Lightfoot, he put in that work with us. Stayed them long nights, two, three, four, five, whatever AM, he was there. So shout out to him. But yeah, it was cool, man. It was good. It was it was all good vibes in there. No industry shit. What's up, boss? Red Souls on the suede pack Ewings. Yeah, let's get, let's get some food. I'm about to die. Hi, can I uh, pick up an order? All right. I would like pasta with chicken and cheese. Yes, that. Steak and cheese. A large steak and cheese. Large steak and cheese. With mayo, tomatoes, and pickles. Mayo, mayonnaise, and pickles. Nope. Mayo, <laughs> tomatoes, and pickles. My bad. May mayo. My cobo from Colombia. I'm trying to. Me and Billy locked in the lab and we just we just started making joints and we had like four, five, six, seven. Next thing you know we got ten songs done and it's you know it was it, it was all a very uh, it was a very natural process. And once those came along, I was like, all right, I think we got enough for a project. So I felt like all right, maybe Billy Loman and Terminology Project is the, is the way to go with this, you know what I'm saying? And once we got to like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, I was fully confident because I already knew how crazy these beats were. It was just about finishing the work. I'm, I'm influenced by other producers, you know, who, who I grew up listening to. Um, always been obsessed with beats. Um, definitely influenced a lot by Pete Rock, uh, DJ Premier, Ninth Wonder, that's probably my favorite producer ever. Um, you know, Jay Dilla. Uh, the usual suspects, man. Not pretty much everybody. Term has worked with, to be honest, which is kind of crazy. But um, you know, definitely a lot of uh, you'll hear a lot of Pete Rock and Ninth Wonder in my sound. Uh, I think, um, but but I definitely draw in influences from the the records I sample uh, as well. The difference between Shut Up and Rap versus like my first album, Politics as Usual. I had DJ Premier, Pete Rock. You know, just all famous legends. And you know, even on to Static, his buzz is up there, Little Fame, Physiology. The albums that I've done have been with more famous producers. Billy Loman is unknown, so it's all about bringing up an artist. That's like the biggest challenge and difference, you know what I'm saying? The sound is similar. I always pick that, that boom bap, you know, that Static Selector, DJ Premier, all the bigger producers I work with, but you know, you gotta reach down and grab somebody who got talent and bring them up. Oh, next? Okay, Maybe. are you ready? Uh, yeah, I got yeah. all I got the nah, that's, on. Yeah. that's dope. It, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. It takes a lot of the pressure off, and you're able to just go in there and just vibe out. Sing it so beautifully tonight, and I DJ do. I'm signing off right now. I, I can't even. I can't even say that else, man. This is crazy. Crazy. Salute hip hop. Hip hop.
How's that? Right? It's good. It was good. Had a hammer tuck in my denim. If a nigga front, I would hit him. Beats the same. I didn't change the timing or nothing. I just like, it's tighter. Because that bass will be tighter. I've been pimping. No, my favorite line on the album, it's actually not a term line, it's a Rex line. It's not my beat, uh, it's one of the bonus tracks. It's an L Wave, uh, it's produced by Alchemist and Static Selecta. Um, and Rex goes. Um, he goes, shut up and rap. He just like calls out every rapper, says every rapper not on this song sucks. Uh, I just love that, it made me laugh. My favorite quote from the album is definitely when I said, Is when I said, I bet these rappers that be claiming they next get a reality check before a royalty check. I'm just saying, probably right. Coming at T, is it the best advice? Smack rappers around, make them lose their electrolytes. Hey, yo, it's my time, my time to shine. So hyped for the My Time record to come out. Been sitting on that for a minute. I found a sample like three years ago. I was just chilling in bed, watching a uh, watching a movie on TV. I don't want to say the sample because I don't want to rat on myself. But basically watching this movie and the movie comes on and I'm like, yo, I'm going to New Bay Comics tomorrow. I'm gonna buy that DVD. I'm gonna loop that joint up, throw some drums on it. And that's it, that's all it means, it's a layup. So boom, I go, I get the movie. I go to Ark, so I'm telling Ark, yo, listen, yo, I got this beat, you, wanna, you know what I mean? So me and Ark, we, and Sam, we flipped it together, all three of us. And my time, crazy, showed it to Lil Fame, he loved it, wanted to jump on it. I showed him like six beats, and as soon as he heard that one, he was like, yo, that's a go. So I already knew the beat was crazy. And um, I'm just, I'm just hyped we made the album, I'm happy, so I'm shut up and rap, it's a perfect home for it. He fucks. He fucks a lot. He fucks with you, and he fucks with me. I fucks with you featuring Lumi D and Cyrus. Crazy. Amazing. One of the best records I've ever done. I hope it really moves. I see the potential behind it. It's still got, you know, it's sample driven. It's still got that real hip hop sound, but it, it's a broader audience. It's, it's a female's perspective of what she's going through in a relationship with Lumi and then also me speaking to a woman. So it's, it's bigger than just getting in there and spitting some punchlines. You know what I'm saying? And the video's crazy too. Shout out to Gil Videos. It's a movie, man. I fucks with you. I'm good. That's my favorite song on the album. Um, my favorite beat. The sample's actually from, uh, it was actually on the Big Lebowski soundtrack, uh, which I had no idea. I, I still have not seen that movie to this day. Um, it was actually Archetype who, who pointed that out. The beat was chosen by Michael Christmas. That was one of the beats I had played when he came by the studio that day. He was the first one to lay a verse on it. Um, and after that term got um, Astro on it, the astronomical kid, he was on the X Factor uh, on TV, he's on the Red Band Society on Fox. You know, he's a actor, rapper, really talented kid. Um, and Static, Static Selecta wound up doing the cuts on that for the chorus. Um, term later verse, um, that song, it came out crazy. Got a lot of Beantown cats on the album. Shout out to Slain, Dutch Rebel, Michael Christmas, Easy Money, you know, the whole Massachusetts in general. I think it's important that you just you know, you give back to your hood and you, you grab artists from around the way and try to help them propel, you know what I'm saying? So it's dope that we're helping each other out. I feel like, you know, the whole Massachusetts rap scene is finally getting it together. So, you know, who knows, sky's the limit, we'll see. Favorite song on the album, definitely Don't Know, featuring Chase and Hampton. 
It's one of the only joints I got solo on there. And I got to touch on some of the topics I've really wanted to touch on with the whole social networking craze and just, you know, so many terrible rappers and other things that I've been meaning to touch on. And so that's my joint right there, man. Make sure you check that out. ST Records, man, uh, I'm so proud of it. We've grown so much, put out so many projects, got a whole bunch of projects on iTunes, that piff, vinyl, CD, all over the place. So, you know, I just want to continue it for the new year. I got Billy Loman on deck, Short Fuse. I want to do producer albums with them. Um, new 1982 album with Static Selector, Politics as Usual Part 2. Got a bunch of big names on there. I ain't gonna let them out yet. But yeah, man, it's a big year. Easy money dropping next year, too. SC Records, we on the way. Cheers, Shut up and rap, baby. Shut up and rap. Huh? Don't let me 